It's not yes. them. A yes. word, a, a word from the book of A. Oh, come on now. Now we're gonna go to the book of Frank. Frank Ocean. Oh. <laughs> Frank Ocean. You guys all know who Frank Ocean is. Uh, R and B artist who we, well, I can speak for myself, who I miss immensely. Yes. Uh, it's been alleged that Frank is working on his next project. And one of the questions I'm going to ask you, Reggie, is one, if you're excited. And two, I heard that he's back in the studio with the same main producer from his Blonde album. Mm. So one, I wanted to ask how much or if at all you miss Frank, uh, Frank Ocean. I remember the last time we saw him was what Coachella and he barely even sang. Right. Like he was just walking around the stage and not really putting his all into the set, into the music. That's one. Do we miss Frank Ocean? So my, uh, I might be a typical, I feel like a lot of people have this typical opinion, but me, yeah, I specifically remember, well, okay, there was Nostalgia Ultra, there was the Lonnie Barrow yes, collection. That was, that was like his, his that was the beginning one. days. Yeah, But Channel Orange, like, I remember, oh my gosh, I remember, I think I was in like middle school, me and my childhood bestie, Andrea, by the way, guys, th oh my God, sorry, side tangent, but me That's and fun. Andrea, she's my childhood friend from literally my hometown, went to walk to school together every morning. In the morning, oh my God, this is so off topic, don't hate no, me, Alex. But no, she, no, you're good, you're good, let's rock. So when we, I used to go to her house in the morning, we used to get ready, yeah. she would play like the MTV music video countdown, Love or, or Sister Sister. So nostalgic. And I used to be, always be the music girl. Like I used to, we had like shared journals, like I would write music lyrics on it, and then her, we would always go to Rite Aid and buy like a $3 makeup and she would always do my makeup. She was always beauty obsessed and I was music obsessed. Fire. And now, <laughs> 20, 20 years later, go on her page is Andrea Ventura makeup. She just did Kelly Rowland's makeup. Like oh. she did so we she's a celebrity makeup artist. She did Coco Jones's makeup for the VMAs. Oh. And I she's like a celebrity. She's so successful. Like she made her dream come true. She always wants to be a makeup artist. And I me, say Andrea, yeah. Like, and me during the VMAs, I was working the VMAs as a journalist. And I'm yes. like, I was like, look at us, Andrea. Full look circle moment. It Full was so moment. like, we both DM'd each other. We both cried a little bit. We we're like, oh my God, girl, look at us now. Like, wow. anyway. No, that's so amazing. I, even know that. I bring that up to say, I remember when Channel Orange came out, yeah. it was like, we used to like beg her older sister to drive us around Jersey. We would go thrifting together and we would just play Channel Orange all day like it's not even that long of an album but we just just loop it loop it loop, loop it, it and loop i'm just it. like yeah he's such an incredible artist like when you look at his lyrics on a page i'm like what? oh my god like who <laughs> comes up with this like he, he was like it? i balance something something on my head like steak knives like he he's so like like yo a little I strange even, but like but like I don't you know. get it i didn't even know pilot jones was about a man that was l that was him. Mm -hmm. How he got that off? Oh my God. Monks, <laughs> pyramids, like, oh, yes. such a. So, okay. So, I was a very, 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 very big Frank Ocean fan. And then right. I, I did love Blonde. Mm -hmm. But I think after that, I definitely kind of trailed off a lot. Like, I don't, mm. uh, I don't know. I don't really check for Frank Ocean like that anymore, even though I loved him so much. Yeah. I don't know what it is, though. I don't know if it's. Is it the, the time music? Away? I don't know yeah. if it's the music I don't like, or he's just so inactive that I'm like, sorry, bro, I I can't. I don't know. Yeah. So no, that, that's right. that's where I stand with Frank Ocean now. Okay, okay, because I do remember um when he was trying to get off of his label, he dropped like two albums, right? And that was when he dropped that album that he live streamed for Apple. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know where that project is. I'm trying to remember. I remember parts of that stream, and the music sounded all right. Again, I don't know where that music is. Actually, I want to do a deep dive see so I can find it on YouTube, and I'll just like put it on my phone or something anyway immediately after that in 2016 he dropped blonde and um like you know very similar to what you're saying i felt like a lot of other people dropped off the wave when blonde came because when you go to chanel orange i mean come on thinking about you right uh sierra leone not just the money super rich kids pilot jones pyramids oh lost right white monks bad religion you know pink every, matter come on every song Come wow, on. every single song is a hit. It's a hit, right? It's no skips. It's no skips, right? Pink Matter with Andre 3000. Oh, man. Just, Damn. 
back to the writing, right? How they were able to describe pussy <laughs> and and compare it to pink matter. I mean, that's just that's just genius level writing, right? Wow. And then Blonde came along. And just like you, Reggie, at first I was like, man, what the fuck is this, man? You know, at first I remember I wasn't <laughs> into it, but then I realized it's a beautiful project. It's so beautiful to me, Reggie, that I know I might sound a little crazy for this. But in 2024, I think I like it more than Chanel Orange. I mean, Channel Orange. <gasps> no, wait, that's fine. That's not like a wild statement. I think it's a pretty wild statement because no, because blonde blonde yeah. is really like a work of art. So like, yeah, and yeah. as it has aged well, yeah, like pink and white. Oh my god, it's like one of the best songs of the century. So like, I don't think that's a wild statement. I think a lot of people prefer oh, blonde. Do do they really? Because I don't when you know, look, yeah. when you think about Channel Orange, right? Like you think about an artist's debut project, and they're with a label, they're aligned with a label. Of course, they're gonna be thinking about the hit records, right? They're going to be thinking about the records that are going to sell or how do we get this album to do as well as it can, correct? Mm -hmm. And I do think that was a lot of like the thinking and the basis going into creating that album. But Blonde just sounds like the album that he wanted to make. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's like when people are like, oh, your favorite Drake album isn't Take Care. And you're like, no, it's nothing was the same. Yes absolutely Ooh, oh oh my god i'm proud yes. of myself for that analogy <laughs> reggie you killing right now because that is the song that is the album that is nothing was the same as drake's himself that's his favorite album that he has ever made so absolutely yeah and, and so what you're saying about blonde yeah it's the same sort of thing right where it's like even there's a there's a song on here called facebook story mm -hmm. and facebook story is like he's got a beat playing in the background and then there's just this this foreign guy who's just giving a story and an alliteration of his current life right now. Like, you know, I was with this girl and when I was with this girl, we were dating and we were dating. And then she asked why we weren't in relationship on Facebook. And then I, <laughs> and I love how you're doing the whole thing for us. That's what, I'm going to do it. And, and I asked her, I said, I, I, I don't, what's Facebook? You know, I, I see you all the time. We don't, I don't need Facebook. And then the young lady ended up leaving me because I didn't change my relationship status to Facebook. <gasps> <laughs> and I know it just sounds funny and weird right now, but. But it's deep. It's so deep. It is. It is so deep, yo. Like the music that is layered on Blonde. And I'm only bringing this up because a lot of people that I've seen, because I saw this article posted a couple months ago, and all of the talk around it was that <laughs> Frank should leave the producer that helped him do the shit. <laughs> I think his name was Buddy Ross. Wait, Buddy. why? No, I thought people... Yeah. Wait, I thought people genuinely liked Blonde. Why are they saying leave that wow. producer? Wow, I'm not gonna... We have different people. <laughs> because every time I try to have this conversation about Blonde, Reggie, I'm actually kind of impressed by your take right now. Everyone is always so much more on no, Channel Orange, Channel Orange. No, Channel Orange. It's like they completely just dash Blonde. I'm like, nah, I think Blonde is the better project. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have the hit. Come on now. Look, look. Where's this song? What's my favorite song? White, Fer White Ferrari. These are like uh, iconic songs. Isn't Nike's also on? Nike's is on there. Wait, these are these are. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh, my God. Like, these are his yeah. iconic songs. Yeah, I, I feel like people love Blonde. Uh, okay, so maybe, I may, maybe no, 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 maybe I just have a skewed perspective on it because I just or maybe I have the skewed perspective <laughs> and people hate blonde. I don't know. Okay, because I just remember seeing a whole bunch of love for Channel Orange, but I don't know. I do miss Frank Ocean. I miss Frank Ocean because we've been having conversations recently about R and B music, right? Mm -hmm. And when you look at like the prominent male R and B artists right now who has some sort of backing or people can identify with, right? It's not that many of them. It's Lucky Day. Um, Leon Thomas, as of now, Leon Thomas has arrived. I'm a dog, I'm a mutt. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to give flowers to any man who makes an album about being a fucking mutt, okay? That's great. Oh, my God. So That's incredible to me. When we first, because Mutt was obviously the, obviously the single. Right. I remember riding in the car with John and he was like, we were playing the song. We're like, this is a great song, but the word, like the, 
the hook, the main hook is baby, I'm a dog, I'm, I'm a, a mutt. mutt. And the mutt was like, I don't know. It just that word like didn't land. I feel like it I don't know. Like, like it makes sense the more way, on the album. The way it was written, I was like, I don't like hearing mutt over and over again. Just that <laughs> word. Like I think it's like I think Kelly Rowland, I don't know, I could be wrong, but um I think she has a song named like Dirty Laundry or something. I'm yeah. like, just the Dirty word is not laundry. it's not pleasant. Yeah. So I wasn't really on board. I was like, this is a good song, but I don't like mutt, mutt, mutt. But but now that I hear it outside yeah. and like that is my favorite song right now. It's amazing. Maybe I'm a dog. Oh, I'm, I'm a mutt. mutt. That, yes, I'm so fucking muddy. I eat kibble. Like when Damn, I <laughs> like he no, I love it now. Like he and he knew because he's a songwriter. He's been a songwriter yeah. for many years. So he knew that would be a catchy hit. He That's knew. the fact. That's a fact. Yeah. And I feel like Frank Ocean embodied that same, well, embodies that same talent. Yeah. Problem, problem is, he's only out in Tribeca riding bikes, and we don't really hear this, a lot of the music he's been working on, right? But when it comes to, like, in 2012, if you would have asked me who would have been, like, the marquee R&B dude or artist, I would have told you Frank Ocean. No, absolutely, it was. Like, he's, he's huge. Like, he has a cult fan base. Is this a safe space? No. Okay. Thank you for being honest, though. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, okay, okay. Just say, yeah. What, what? What? I feel bad, yo, because what I'm about to say, man, I've really been trying to keep this to myself. I briefly said it when we were talking about the Leon Thomas project. Reggie, do you remember the person's album I mentioned that I was like, yo, I think he has a better album than so and so? Do you remember that guy? Wait. I don't, th- I don't think you well, remember. I'm trying to remember. Okay, okay fine. Whatever. Okay, just say it. Okay, that's fine. 